about Japanese mythology, too? Hmm? I have some knowledge of it, yes. Oh, good! Then can you tell us what kind of god O Kuninushi is? Then I'll explain. O Kuninushi is the creator god of Japan, as written in the Kojiki. What else? Hmm. He took Susarihime, Susanoo's daughter, as his wife. But O Kuninushi died twice before meeting Susarihime. Huh? Twice? How'd he get killed so often? He was murdered by his brothers. First, he was burned to death, then crushed. Each time, his mother, Sasukuni Wakahime, resurrected him. And on the third attempt, O Kuninushi, just as he was about to be pierced to death by arrows, finally fled. That was when he reached the country ruled by Susanoo. Wow, talk about a stormy life. I so wouldn't want to go through any of that. After those traumatic events, Susanoo told him to create a nation. Japan is the result. Yeah, even if he did make it, we're the ones actually living here. The land's creator and its inhabitants. Neither can give any ground. Still, in order for him to lead the people of this country, we must overcome O Kuninushi's ordeal. Yeah. Well, thanks, Amani. Let's move on. Hey, I've been wondering, even if we take a sinner's comp, can't they just get their hands on another one? Huh? Why not? Think about it. It was the Shomonkai who was handing out the comps. They needed to corrupt Tokyo to summon Belbereth to the human world. But now there's no need for that, and they're collecting comps on the angel's orders. Yes, that is correct. That is why comps are very difficult to come by now. Though it is true that people can still rob other demon tamers of their comps. Oh yeah! So if we all keep collecting them, the comps will eventually be gone. That's a load off. After all we went through, I thought they'd still be easy to get. Could I try talking to him first? Thanks. I want you to keep a close eye on what he does. Okay, here goes. Hello, Naoya. You never learn, do you? I don't recall you having time to waste. Hey, Naoya. You already know how you can end Kane's punishment, don't you? <laughs> so what if I do? I knew it. So why don't you just go ahead and do it? I mean, it must be terrible to be reborn with all your past memories. Nonsense. I welcome the eternity I've been given. I have as many lives as I need to gain infinite knowledge and eventually kill God. <laughs> now there's a silly question. Hate is too kind a word to describe it. True, I killed Abel with my own hands. However, it was God who made me do it. He knew everything and still loved you while spurning me. He should have been fair. It was God who sparked my urge to kill. I have every right to get revenge on him. But before you committed your sin, Cain, God told you to hold yourself back. <laughs> he set me up for what happened, and he wanted me to hold myself back. Then why deliberately stoke my desire to kill? A fool would know I couldn't offer a lamb, and he's holding me responsible? Quite so. I learned jealousy, thus killing you. Do you still believe God is not to blame? You and I, we're both innocent victims of God's trickery. Looking at you puts me in mind of Job, who continued to praise God in his suffering. God did not hesitate to sacrifice the two of us in order to teach others. God's arrogance led to your death. Your resulting grudge cast you into the demon world. And now, after your rebirth as a bell, after God's ordeal, you're still being tested. After all this, would you still claim to love God? You 
fool. You really are the same as Job, with your blind faith in God. Then why did you fall to the demon world and become a bell? Why are you now the overlord? It proves you were consumed with wrath over your death. Your hatred still burns. Oh, but I see. It wasn't God you came to hate. It was me. What? N no! No, you... He... <laughs> fine, fine. There's no use bluffing. I killed Abel once. And I also instigated the lockdown you were forced into. If I hadn't developed the comp and given it to you, you'd have all been safe. Now tell me true, Abel. You hate me, don't you? That's right. You don't understand anything about him. Whatever happened before he was born, you're part of his family. Why won't you understand? He doesn't hate you. You just keep insisting it. Your true thoughts are shining through. Yes, I'm the one who set all this up. <sighs> Why don't you just admit it already? I manipulated you. Used you as pawns. No need to feel bad about it. It's natural you'd hate me, as that was my intention. What you want is none of my concern. I'll use any tool at hand to get my revenge. What? What are you saying? Th that's right! You made sure to leave it to him whether to become Overlord or not. If you really wanted, you could have ignored our feelings and done whatever. You were thinking of what's best for him. The proof is that you let him make his own choice about which path to take. <sighs> Say what you will. What a credulous pack of morons you are. That's why you're being used by God as his messiah. I haven't the time for you. Leave me. Wait! Now ya! Oh, he's gone. Uh, did we screw that one up? Yeah, we did what we could. I cannot be sure, but something in his voice seemed different. I hope our conversation will drive Cain to change. Now ya!